Hello everybody. The purpose of this short video is to walk you through the steps necessary to install the Raspberry Pi OS or Raspberry Pi operating system on your micro SD card. So the first step, we're going to go to Google and type in the search bar Raspberry Pi downloads. The first link will be raspberrypi.org downloads. Click on that. And from here you'll be you'll see this screen which uh, includes links to download the Raspberry Pi Imager. Now this is a program that you'll install on your laptop or your desktop and it will automatically go out and get the version of Raspberry Pi OS and write that version to your SD card. Okay, so there's three choices here. So depending on which version of the OS you have running on your laptop or desktop, you'll want to make sure you choose the correct link. I'm running a Mac OS, so I'm going to select the second link here, Raspberry Pi Imager for Mac OS. If you're using Windows or Ubuntu, you'll want to use one of the other two links. So when I click on this link, it'll start a download of the installation package for the Raspberry Pi Imager. It just takes a couple seconds to download. We're already finished. So now in my downloads folder, I see the file Imager underscore 1.4.dmg. I can double click on that file. And that will uh, bring us to this screen, which to complete the installation, all I need to do is drag the Raspberry Pi Imager icon into the Applications folder. Oops. And I had previously installed this, so we're just going to replace the one that I previously installed with the new one that we just downloaded. Okay, once that's complete, we can then launch the Raspberry Pi Imager. And the very first screen you'll see is a warning message basically saying that this app has been downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you really want to open it? Go ahead and click open. And then at this stage, you'll see this screen, which is the Raspberry Pi Imager version 1.4. You see there's two buttons that are active right now, operating system and SD card. And then you see the right button is grayed out. So the first thing we need to do is install our micro SD card into our card reader. And so I'm gonna do that now. And see, once I did that, I get the uh, backup message here. But I also, you see that there's new a uh, drive that's showing on my desktop that's called boot. Okay, so let's first go through the steps of choosing our operating system. So you have many choices here when you could choose from by using the Raspberry Pi Imager program. The one that we're going to use today is the Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit. This is the like standard issue um, Raspberry Pi OS that includes a desktop environment. If you were wanting to run this on a headless install, which means it has no desktop environment, you could go to the Raspberry Pi OS other section by clicking the first right arrow. And you see here you have the option for Raspberry Pi OS Lite. And this is the version that has uh, no desktop environment. And it notice it's only a 4.4 gigabyte download. Or you could go with the bloated version, which has uh, many recommended applications pre-installed that's a 2.5 gigabyte download. We're going to forego both those options and go back to the, um, to the basic standard issue Raspberry Pi OS. So when we click on that, uh, the next step is to select our SD card. Now we just plugged in the SD card. So when we click here, we see we have mounted as volumes boot, and that's the volume that was just mounted when we uh, 
inserted the SD card. Yours may say something different depending on what SD card you've plugged in. Just make sure that you double check that you're selecting the correct SD card at this step. Okay, once those two selections have been made, now you notice that we have the right button is now active. We can click on that and it'll say, do you want to overwrite or erase what's already on your micro SD card? And we're gonna say yes to that. And once you say that, the final step to get the uh, writing started is you have to enter your root password to enable the modification to the SD card. So at this stage, we're starting to write the uh, OS onto the SD card. It's going to take several minutes. So we'll pause the video here and come back when we're near the end of the writing process to wrap things up. Okay, we're almost finished writing the card now, and you see that we switched from writing to verification or verifying. So this process will now take another few minutes, but hang in there, you're almost finished. So don't click the cancel verify, let the full process complete, and we'll check back in in a couple minutes once this is finished. Okay, the verification process is almost complete and we should be seeing it successfully finish up any second now. So when the process is complete, you should see this message. Write successful, Raspberry Pi OS has been written to, and then whatever the name of your SD card is, you can now remove your SD card from the reader and then you can have the option to click continue. So I'm gonna remove my SD card from the reader, click continue, and that finishes our installation process.